Microsoft Copilot Studio. What is it and what can you do with it? This is a brand new low code tool that allows you to create your own Copilot experiences and extend the Microsoft 365 Copilot experiences so that it can get to your business data, your systems of record. Now there are pro dev tools that will allow you to do this, but this one is for my drag and drop low code makers. You're going to be able to do even more amazing things. In this video, I'm going to take you through those experiences of building your own Copilot and extending the Microsoft 365 Copilot, as well as some other related announcements that tie back into this that might not be immediately obvious. The Copilot for Power Apps and the Copilot for Services. And then I'm going to answer the question, isn't this just Power Virtual Agents? Yeah, sort of, but no. <laughs> Let's take a look. Microsoft Copilot Studio allows you to connect to your business data and use generative AI to essentially instantly create a Copilot experience or a chatbot, if you like. So that means you can do things like point it to your website and then just say go and the large language model kicks in and helps you do Q&A over the top of your website data. Same thing for pointing to SharePoint documents uploading documents and connecting with plugins or power platform connectors to your business systems. You're also going to be able to bring in GPT. So if you've been following the recent announcements from OpenAI about being able to create your own GPTs, you'll be able to do this here too. And then you can deploy it to the channel of your choice. If you've got Microsoft 365 Copilot, it's going to go right back in there. If you don't, don't worry, there's plenty here for you as well. You can deploy it to Teams, to your website, all sorts of different options here. So let's take a look at the first thing you can do, which is to build your own Copilot experience. Now, the most basic way to get started here is to point it to your website. All you need to do is say, create a new Copilot, put your website link in, and then suddenly you've got a chatbot that will work based on that. But the real value here is that we can level up and give your copilot more knowledge. The more knowledge your copilot has about your business, the better it's going to be able to do for you. So it's going to use the large language model that's publicly trained. It can do all those things. You can point it to your website. Awesome. But now you can connect it to your actual business systems as well. So if you give your copilot the knowledge of what's in your CRM, what's in your ERP, HR, booking system, and the ability to take actions for you, now you've got a much, much more powerful system. So this is an example here of using a plugin. You can do this with a plugin. So you've basically got an API to your existing business system. In this case, this is an example of working with a place that does cruises and we're getting the travel booking information and returning itineraries. So you can do that. You can also work with any of the Power Platform connectors or Power Automate here as well. So you've got lots and lots of options there for bringing these things in. So you've got your Copilot experience, you're connecting it to that plugin. And then we've got this option here of dynamic chaining with generative actions. Essentially, this means that what the Copilot can do, you can have multiple plugins and multiple connectors here, and this will pick the right plugin based on what the user is asking and then execute on that plugin and provide the response back. So we've also got in here a log that's going to show you what it's doing. Love the transparency. And then the conversation goes ahead where the user asks a question. Uh, where does my cruise depart? It knows that that is the plugin that it needs to go into that booking and itinerary system. It will also automatically prompt. So that plugin knows that it needs a booking number. So it executes that, goes, hang on, I, I don't have a booking number asks, and you didn't build this chat, so that the concept here with these generative uh, answers is that you don't have to build out the topics yourself. You can still do that if you want a manually created topic that follows a certain structure. That's absolutely a capability. But what we've got here is that you don't even have to do that. It knows what it's missing. It asks for what it's missing, provides it back, and now it can go away and get all of that information and provide it back. So this is a super quick and easy build experience where essentially you're going in and saying, hello, Copilot, please connect to all of this knowledge and then use the large language model to automatically be able to generate the, the chat. 
Now, if you are a Microsoft 365 Copilot user, you have got even more that you'll be able to do here. And in fact, this capability that we're talking about, Microsoft Copilot Studio, is going to be available inside your license. So now with your license for Microsoft 365 Copilot, you're also getting the capability to extend said Microsoft 365 Copilot. So with the Microsoft 365 Copilot, it's got access to your documents, access to the Microsoft Graph, all of those wonderful things. But you actually want to find something specific that is stored inside another system. So same concept we just talked about, but it's rolled back up into your Microsoft 365 Copilot experience. So here it is in the chat. It will actually even prompt you to go find this. It's making it very easy to discover. That will take you across into this building experience inside the Copilot Studio where you've got the trigger that is the Copilot extension. So you're just adding that extra knowledge in there by saying, yes, let's add a plugin to the SAP system. It's going to filter out. We've got PowerFX formulas in here that are filtering out so that we don't bring back irrelevant information. And then it comes back with the answer and back into the Microsoft 365 Copilot experience, there is the answer. So you've just leveled up even more <laughs> that experience of being able to bring in very specific data in your business systems. Now, Copilot for Power Apps, you might think I'm going off track here, but I'm not, stay with me. Copilot for Power Apps, there's lots of different Copilot experiences in Power Apps. The one we're talking about here is the one for the user. So this is this little sidecar experience inside your Canvas app where the user can ask questions of the data. And this is ready to go natively connected with Dataverse. You can connect it up to other things as well. But this is also connected through to everything we've just seen. So what we've got here is a Copilot experience where it's connected to a Dataverse table about deliveries. The user is asking for questions, but you can then go back a level in here and connect it to other things as well so that you might want to retrieve data from another system or take action on another system to actually push through an order or make a request, connect to your website, connect to your chef, all those same things we've been talking about, and then surface that back up into your Power Apps Copilot. So even if you don't have Microsoft 365 Copilot, there's a lot of value here because you can build out this custom Copilot experience sitting inside a Canvas app that's going out, talking to those other things, taking actions for the user and sitting right there. We also have announced at Ignite Copilot for Service again, in the same family here, because look what happens. This is the first part of it. This is designed to work natively out of the box with these major service systems. And look at this experience. It's very, very similar. So this is the Copilot for service experience. But I start by saying, create it. What do I want to connect to? All good. Now I've got my Copilot experience here and I can test it out and run with it but I want it to do more. I also want it to connect to another system. I also want it to connect to a website. Guess what? <laughs> Straight back into Copilot Studio. So Copilot Studio here is allowing you to create your own bots, but it's also behind the scenes to extend your Microsoft 365 Copilot, your Power Apps Copilot, your customer service Copilot. That's all I've seen so far, <laughs> but it's all just been announced. But isn't that just Power Virtual Agents. I hope you've seen so far, there's some Power Virtual Agents things here you might already recognize and a heap more things in there. This is the experience I got when I logged into Power Virtual Agents this morning. Power Virtual Agents is now Microsoft Copilot Studio. Essentially, Power Virtual Agents is the foundation here, but we are moving on to even more capabilities. So if you're an existing Power Virtual Agents user, you'll log in, you'll get this message and you can just go on and keep doing all of the things you've got. If you're a Microsoft 365 Copilot customer, you're going to find that this is now included for you and you're going to be able to do a heap more things. And we're going to watch this space and see what else comes out of all of this. I am going to do a whole playlist on this stuff. I started my YouTube journey with Power Virtual Agents, hopping right back in now to bring you a lot of content about Microsoft Copilot Studio. Pop any questions you've got in the comments here. Heap of content coming. Please subscribe and follow along. Thank you for watching.